What are you wearing? I'm in the locker room, only wearing a jersey, sitting on my football. Also, he's got no pants on. He's just got his, like, his shitty ass on a ball. Nice one. Hey everyone, my name is Mike. Welcome to my playthrough of Life is Strange. We're in episode 3 right here, part 2. And we just got some parts to make a bomb to break into the principal's office because we've sneaked into the actual school after hours. And uh, we need to get inside the principal's office because we want to investigate and see if there's anything that the school is hiding about what happened with Kate. And then um, we've, we've got all these parts in the top right corner you can see. And that's required to make a bomb because it's going to blow the door open because we can't get inside the office. So um, let's approach K um, Chloe now with the bomb. And try and get in there. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle... I mean, this is going to make a big so bang, cool. isn't it? It's going to be quite loud. Get ready to haul ass. I'm sure the security is going to hear it. Oh shit! That's like proper that breaching clear. So fucking cool! Oh, oh god! Toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Uh, do we just have to get inside there quickly? And um, no, we won't have time to look around, will we? They'll be here in like a few minutes. Actually, is there anything to click on? There's nothing to actually do. Hang on a second. I'm inside. If I rewind time before the door blew up, I want I stay inside. Well, oh, these powers are so cool. If you're creative enough and you can think of like outside the box, you can really get things done. So the door is now closed, and it didn't blow up. So there's no alarm, no noise, and we're free to look around. Do we need to find a key to unlock the door? There's still nothing to click on. Um, let's just go to the door, see if we can get Chloe inside. If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with her rewind. See, she doesn't even know that we oh, went inside. <laughs> it's just funny. Peekaboo! Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. What does that even yes, mean? If only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be a Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. So when you have the powers to rewind time, like she does, you kind of have the power to teleport, really. Because the, the, thing, the big thing that makes a difference is that Max doesn't move when she rewinds the time. She stays where she's standing, which is pre pretty much teleportation. It's really cool. So we're going to look around. Is Kate's file on this desk? Let's have a look. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Uh, whoa, there's a big file about her. It just pretty much talks about how she's sensitive and, um, you know, a quiet girl. And there's an update at the bottom. At present time, there's a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for more complete details. Um, we can't look through the file anymore. Only okay. two more files to go. Okay, so we're here to find the files of students. I'm guessing we're looking for the people that we are investigating, which is going to be Victoria as well, I think, and Nathan, which is the, the, the rich kid. So there's some files on the desk here. What's this? So Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully too. Shocker. Okay, that's from Nathan's dad to the, um, the principal. 
In the light of recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspension, I feel that my large contributions to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. So he's easy in funding the schools. Of course, this situation can be rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause. But I would suggest that cancelling Thursday's party is not conductive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Arcadia's Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. Alright, so he's kind of like, not threatening so much, but he's telling the principal what he wants and like, he's expecting him to do as he asks. So there's another file here we can search through? Tumbleweeds. Tumbleweed, so it's not useful. There's a cabinet down here. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. So this is Rachel's file, the girl who went missing. Um, just a brief summary. So we got a brief summary throughout that um, update. Talking about how she's not attending class. Um, we're hoping that she's going to return. And at the bottom there, Principal Wells, this is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that the Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for you for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We all will always keep our eyes and ears open. That's all, that's all we can do for now. So the investigation has actually closed. We don't actually know. I don't think they did a good effort, did they, of him trying to find where she went. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Chloe. Oh yeah, Chloe's the one. Well, she's got blonde hair. I thought that was Victoria for a second. So yeah, that, uh, Chloe got expelled. So update at the bottom is Chloe's no longer a student. Um, let's read a bit of this. Chloe's a problematic student. Um, then Chloe does little homework and is often used to be willfully belligerent to her teachers. So she's just like that, a bad kid in school, really. That's all the files that we've got down there. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. So we've got, um, whose files have we got? We've got Kate's, and I'm guessing we just picked up, um, Rachel's. And let's check here. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. So this is Nathan Prescott, the rich kid. Um, so yeah, his, his parents pretty much run the town because of the money that they fund the school, and his, his record's spotless. So, uh, they, they obviously, you know, blackmailing the school and stuff to... Keep it clean. Like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. So this is Max's file. Um. So it's just the brief summary is talking about how she's um quite quiet. Um. She's nervous and nosy. All right, so let's go to the update. Despite some recent conversations with Blackwell security, Max tried to unsuccessfully stop fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof to her death today. At this time, there is an ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's bravery is undisputed. Yeah, so nothing we didn't know there. This file is going to be so spotless, a projectile vomit. Yeah, so why Victoria's is spotless as well? I'm guessing because she kind of like bribes teachers and like threatens them with like blackmail. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. And now we've got Warren. Warren's saying Max's friends and he, yeah, he's fine. Nothing too strange standing out there. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. All right, so we got all the files that we need. And um, let's speak to Chloe and see what she's found on the computer. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped Major Bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the Dark room. Well, that's like a horror film. Over and over. A possessed kid's that's drawn it. that. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. 
I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, <laughs> do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. <laughs> powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Handicapped. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Hang on a second. That's for the handy. I know this school's like a bit, like, a little bit corrupt and like has takes bribes and stuff, but that's got a handicap fund written on it. I'm not taking money from a charity for the handicapped. I'm not being, you know, if I have to say yes or no to this, or I don't have a choice to step out the way, I'm saying no. You're not taking the handicap fund. No way. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. Yeah, but we're not gonna we're not gonna take it. No way. I, I'll, I'll probably steal it if it was just money lying around, just because we can. But when it's got like a, it's it can help people in a good way with charity and all that. I'm not taking it. No way. So let's go back to the school. Let's leave the school actually. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Hella. Did you actually just say hella? <laughs> That's what I, I thought. I think I'm a good bad influence on you. <laughs> so, like, after everything that's happened, Kate died today. And we're going to break into the school and go for a swim. Alright. Why not? We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Alright, let's speak to Chloe, see what the plan is. Boys or girls? Um, Well, we're girls, so let's do the opposite to what we're not normally allowed to do. Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. I'm not a perv. I'm just wanting to... Explore my options. <laughs> um, can we look around in the locker room and see if we can find anything cool? Zachary's jersey. No way am I touching Zach's jersey. I don't know who Zach is. I think he's probably a kid we can interact with, but um, I may have avoided that as a cell phone here. Who's is this? Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? What has he got? Is that his background picture? A girl eating ice cream. Okay, <laughs> that's a bit weird. So, Victoria. Oh, so he's been texting Victoria. Hey, thinking bad things about, oh god, about you. Cool, what are you wearing? Just my crystal necklace and phone. Oh, hot. What are you wearing? I'm in the locker room, only wearing a jersey, sitting on my football. Well, so he's got no pants on. 
He's just got his like his shitty ass on a ball. Nice one. So she seems like a bit of a slag, a slut, Victoria. You know she. I think she is, isn't it? I don't know. Unless this is her boyfriend, I don't know. I'm not too sure on how her relationships are going. So cool. This is Warren's locker. Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? Oh, uh, that's that's Warren's locker. Okay. E-cigarette. Some poor hipster lost their vape. Uh, Nathan's lock. This is the Prescott. Nathan Prescott. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? No, so he's got loads of um, prescription drugs. <laughs> he's a psychopath. He's, he's he must have like um, a bad case of like ADHD or something, you know? Or autism? Not not autism so much, but he's just got like very, very bad mental issues, like in anger and stuff. Um, jacket. Who's was that? I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. Uh, nothing special. Logan. I think Logan's just another kid in the school that we can interact with here and there. He's not a main character. I guess I should consider this evolution. So, Dana, I know I'm a but a hole, but I still care about you. Love, love. Logan. Um, Dana was the girl at the start of this episode that we were talking to in a in a dorm. Sex me up. Boys' locker room is right. Yeah. So I think, um, what's this? A penis? It is a penis. Victoria loves the D. <laughs> huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. <laughs> Seems like everything revolves around Victoria in the school. Oh, M Max, that's me. Welcome to 1950. Feminazi. Alright. I love Warren Gay Ram. What? I bet you do. It's like everything revolves around like a few kids in the school. I'm sure there's like loads of kids in different years and like, classes and stuff that. Look, this one's Dana again. Dana needs needs a baby daddy. Troll face type thing. <laughs> That's a bit weird. Um, soap on the floor. Someone dropped the soap. And 69 reasons to bang Rachel. Yeah, Rachel's the one that's missing. Wow. Here's uh, here's Chloe. What are you doing? Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Sharks? Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. What's she talking about sharks? I don't know what she's talking about. And um, we need to get the lights on. I'm, it's the lifeguard's room right here. I'm guessing... What's this? Oxygen kits? Don't need that. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Here we go. Control cabinet. Let there be light once again. Oh, Chloe's got no hat on. I think that's the first time we've seen Chloe without her hat. Hip 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 hooray. What's that song? The sun has got his hat on, he's coming out to play. It just made my brain go into a weird tangent right there about hats. So, um, let's go outside. Have we got a swim costume? Or is that just their underwear? How do we get dressed, undressed? You gonna jump in? Oh, kind of not a bad dive. That was the shallow end, though, so be careful. Time to do or dive, Max. Do or dive. What do I do? How do I get undressed? Right, there's Chloe's clothes. Can I put mine next to it? How do I do? How do I do the undress? I forgot how to swim. Here we go. Speak. Oh yeah, baby. Feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. I'm gonna come in, obviously, because I'm here. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie! Okay, you asked for it. I didn't know, didn't know Chloe had a full sleeve tattoo. I think she's always had that covered, hasn't she? Cowabunga! Why, look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> she must have some amazing hair product, because it doesn't move in the water. It's like rock hard. 
wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out why for Kate's sake. She didn't deserve to die. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. And what if I had, thanks to you? Wait, when did I save her? Oh, I've saved her loads of times. So, eh, what if I had? Thank God. But what if I had? What if you and Kate would both be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? That is true because um, I first used the power when I tried to stop Nathan from shooting her. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Warren is nice. You're the bro killer. Gross. <laughs> uh... Warren is nice, though. Warren is... nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's no. really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. I don't think anyone else knows about the power, do they? Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's jet. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. So they go in commando now in their clothes because they've got they're in the underwear and it's all wet. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hi! Oh god. Security. Is that David? Chloe's stepdad. Um, where are we going? Exit or hide? We have to go now. There we go. Let's exit. Can we go? Yeah, we can go. Oh shit! Are you shitting me? Oh god, he's right there. That's David. He's got a mustache. All right, so we need to get out of here. I could use my power, or just look for a hiding spot, or both. Where are they? All right, hiding spot, hiding spot. Where can we hide? Can we hide inside oh. this basket? Nope. Um, there's a guy with that. I think there's two guys, isn't there? Is he coming this way? Yeah, he's coming this way. Oh god, there's a guy there as well. Oh god, he's got he's got his back turned though. Can we open the door? Can we go while he's got his back turned? Hang on a minute, we've got our power as well, haven't we? So, there? if someone spots us. Okay, he's coming in here, it seems. The flashlight's looking through the door. Better if he spots us, we can rewind today. time. Serious. Is he coming this way or the other way? I heard something over here. I think he's going the other way. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Who's here? Okay, he's got, got his a flashlight and a stick. Oh shit. Rewind time. He's looking at us. Okay, if we if we stay here. Oh god, you see me there. Oh god. Move, 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 move. Ow. Okay, move, 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 move. This is this is this is sketchy. <laughs> Look at this, how close he is. I heard something over here. That worked. Okay, go for the door. Go, go, go. Oh, that's cool. So even though like he barely spotted me there, I just keep moving it so this, this torch wasn't looking at me in the face. <laughs> that worked. 
So back in the swimming pool again. We are so invisible. That rewind power makes it like you can forever just correct yourself. You'll never get caught because you can just constantly go whoop 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 over and over again until you just edge Wait, your way out the room. Turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Yeah, because she'll probably get spotted on the way back to her dorm, won't she? So we just gotta get out of here, get off campus. So why were they inspecting the pool? Did they hear noise? Because they, they didn't hear the alarm because we we were on time. So I guess they must have just seen the lights were switched on and they came in to see what it was. So we're back in Chloe's house, the half painted house. All right then, guys, that's all we've got time for for this video. Quite an eventful episode, and we'll continue in the next episode. So thanks for watching. See you next time.